What's the best advice you can give anyone? People overestimate what they can get done in a day, but underestimate what they can do in a week. Meaning when you feel motivated, it's easy to overshoot your productivity for the day. When you don't complete everything you wanted, you become discouraged. But if you set a realistic goal for the day and remain that productive for days in a row, you can accomplish a lot more. Don't ever become a grumpy person who believes to know everything better than anyone. Never stop being curious and never stop learning. Do you want to be right? Or do you want to win? Most often, digging your heels in and insisting that you're right, even if you are, is counterproductive to your long-term goals. Usually, being right? is about feeling intellectually, morally, socially superior to someone, not about changing their thoughts or behavior. Also, periodically ask yourself, what if I'm wrong, aka, am I the bad guy here? And genuinely consider that you might be. Write it down, read it again tomorrow, see how crazy it sounds. That means you've calmed down and are more able to think rationally. Now write it down again and think about both sides, possible solutions, roadblocks, etc. Don't forget to take responsibility for being wrong. Don't sugarcoat it. Sometimes it isn't worth it to argue. Sometimes it's better to stop fighting. Don't listen to advice from Redditors, ever, including this. A large portion of your mental anguish is caused by an unrealistic belief that reality should be different than it actually is in reality. Don't go to culinary school because you think you're going to be the next Gordon Ramsay or Food Network cooking channel sensation. Also, don't think you'll walk out of there and run a restaurant. It's hard work, long hours and little pay. You'll never have a Saturday night off. If you are in charge, staffing a kitchen is a challenge, but nothing beats the feeling of cranking out a high-volume dinner service, cleaning it all up and relaxing with the crew afterwards with some beers only to come back in a few hours to do it all again. If you do go to work in the restaurant business, you're going to be meet a mix of some of the funniest, diverse, friendly and loyal people ever along with a lot of criminals, drug-dependent and extremely mentally unstable people, and often the people are a combination of all that. So keep your expectations realistic and have fun at the Culinary Institute of America. Chef, don't burn yourself out. It's all right to take a break sometimes. Think before talking. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. Run accordingly. Leave it better than you found it. In achieving goals, nothing is more important than your daily routine. Don't be a cunt. Don't listen to me. I have no idea when I'm doing life really, really, really isn't fair. And while that doesn't, T mean we should give in and give up trying to make it more fair for everyone. You have to embrace how unfair it is. 2. Ask for help. Whether it's psych, physical, or you just can't open a jar. It's okay to ask for help. If someone makes you feel bad for asking for help they are the asshole not you. And someone asks for your help give it freely knowing how difficult it can be. Get your finances in order and live on a budget and with a plan. You are your own responsibility, just like everyone else. Move on, move on. Socks on before pants. Disappointment is life, contentment is a decision, happiness comes in moments. There's a point in your 20s when you really become a fully functioning adult. It's okay to fire the friends that are boat anchors and drama magnets in your life so you can move 
on. Take good care of your teeth. Not only will it look better to have a smile, but strong teeth will help you eat much faster without restrictions. See a doctor, get rid of it. Do not worry about what other people think about you. They are generally too worried about what you think about them. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should.